Hello, my name is Tiffany Chang and this is Conductor as CEO, where I take ideas from other industries and share how we can apply them as arts leaders. I imagine a world where leaders help people thrive, feeling more valued, seen, and fulfilled, while knowing that their work truly matters. When I get to the end of a rehearsal, I'd usually say something like, great work, everyone, and I would follow with the question, any concerns, requests, or questions? A musician would sometimes raise their hand and point out a spot where there was a problem. And if we had time, we'd go to that spot and address it immediately. I'd then offer a solution and we'd try it out. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. If it does not work, that's when we usually run out of time and we plan to address it again next time. I've come to realize that perhaps there's a missed opportunity in that scenario. One of the pitfalls for a leader is to jump to the rescue too quickly. This is because we believe that as a leader, we must be the one with the answer. We must be there to save the day. And it is our job to solve the problems. So we jump in with good solutions. In the scenario that I described, I asked the musicians to identify problems, but I didn't give them permission or the chance to offer any solutions. I fully expected myself to be the rescuer, the problem solver, and I just jumped in like I was trained to do. In doing so, I'm overlooking two possibilities. One, my solution may not be the most appropriate for the problem. And two, the musicians may have ideas for solutions as well. So I'm also inadvertently disempowering, disengaging, and or victimizing the people in the process without even knowing it. In other words, I've set up the expectation for the people to be issue spotters instead of problem solvers. Here's how those two things differ. When people operate as issue spotters, we can feel less accountable. We can have a need to blame someone or something. And we can feel a helplessness from being not in control. On the other hand, when we operate as problem solvers, we can develop a momentum from having agency, a pride in ownership and an increased feeling of responsibility. So we can encourage our musicians to be active problem solvers and not just passive issue spotters. And how could I have done better with this in mind? I could have asked the musicians for any suggestions to solve the problem when I asked the question. I could have inquired further to understand more about what the real problem is, as opposed to guessing and assuming. I could have asked, what do you think would help here? I could have asked, how could I be more helpful here? I could have ended the rehearsal with a prompt, such as, I know there are problems that exist. I invite you to choose one problem and propose one solution you think would help solve it. And let them go and see what they come up with at the beginning of the next rehearsal. As Liz Wiseman suggests in her book, Multipliers, ask for the fix. When they bring you a problem, ask them for a solution. Maybe I'll be brave enough to try this next time. If these ideas resonate with you, please consider signing up in the link below to receive an email with each new blog post sent directly to your inbox. Thank you and have a great day.